After installing structure app, you will get this uh, option on top called structure. And if you go inside this option, uh, you have a few, few things that you can do. The first thing that we will be doing uh, in this uh, video is uh, learn how to create a structure board. So when you click on this option called uh, create structure, you will be presented with the option to select a template. So you have a few options like create uh, empty structure, create a structure with a backlog uh, template, and you also have a template called agile structure. So let us now create uh, an empty structure because we want to see how the structure board will look like and we'll create a fresh blank uh, structure and then we'll, uh, we'll create some uh, structure or hierarchy inside it. So the first thing that you need to do before you can uh, work on the structure is uh, give your structure a name. And uh, in structure app, you have uh, the option to create uh, two type of, uh, of structure boards. First type is called automation and the second is called manual. And uh, I'll explain the purpose of both the both the boards, but uh, to give you a simple, ex simple explanation, when you create uh, a board with automation, your board will auto update itself with new issues in it. So let us say when you create uh, a board for uh, three or four projects and you just want to focus on let us say all the epics within your uh, within your board and whenever there is a new epic or any new issue added to your project the same will be reflected in your automation type of board but in manual boards uh, the issues that you define will stay as it is it will not auto update itself. So let us first create uh, an automation type of board and give your board a name. And again, when we create automation boards, you have two types, two subtypes, I would say, you have uh, the option to create a top down automation board and you and you also have the option to create a bottom up automation board. So let us first create uh, top down automation board. So I'll, I'll name this particular uh, board with uh, the uh, with the type of board that we want to create and you also have the option to share this particular board with uh, let us say all the Jira software users so you can select your uh, group here uh, or, or you can select maybe your project role but uh, let us now create a board called top-down automation and share it with all the Jira software users and uh, let us now click on the create button so when you create a board, an empty board, you have this uh, option of working on the board. And uh, of course, you have the option on top to do few things, which we will explain later. But uh, the thing that you need to first do to quickly create a board in your Jira instance using top down automation approach is uh, to click on this particular plus sign right next to the automation uh, button that you can see on top and uh, uh, we have the option to create uh, let us say uh, all the all the issues of type uh, let us say epic and uh, we want to create a board where we can start with the epics and then we can further drill down into all the stories within those epics and then all the subtasks within those uh, uh, stories so let us now click on the option called insert and you have the option to use let us say agile board or jql query or you can also bring in issues from another structure board but we will now be using this uh, option called jql query and uh, you will be presented with the option to now type in your jql so you can now type in let us say uh, uh, issue type is equal to epic because we want to just work on all the uh, epics in our uh, top down automation uh, board. And you have the option to also limit your number of issues. So this can be useful when, uh, when you are concerned about the performance. So let us now worry about this limit right now, but uh, uh, we will probably worry about it when we have a big instance of Jira and then click on the apply button. So now you will be uh, able to see all the 
epics that you have in your uh, Jira instance. Of course, uh, you could have uh, used a JQL to further filter this particular uh, issue, uh, this particular JQL uh, to bring or to focus on maybe one or two projects. But right now we have uh, all the epics in our Jira instance. So this looks good. This looks fine. But uh, let us now also bring in the stories that we have uh, within our uh, within our uh, board and uh, to bring in these stories you need to first uh, select this uh, top down automation option to make sure that this particular option is selected on top and then click on the plus sign again and then when you click on the option to uh, i'll do it again when you click on the plus sign you have the option to of course uh, click on insert but we want to now select uh, extend option because uh, we want to also bring in or extend this particular structure board to include stories. So when you click on this particular option, you will be presented with the option to select uh, a subtask or uh, linked issues or stories under epics. So this makes sense. So if you select this particular option, you can see here that it will ask you to just uh, verify uh, like how many levels you want to include. So you can say here all levels up to 10 and then make sure that you select this option called allow changes via structure. So if you select this option, you will be able to also make a change to your hierarchy. For example, if you move a story from one epic to another epic, the actual Jira project will be updated for you. So let us now click on the apply button. <clears throat> and then the moment you do it, you can then see here that the epics that we added earlier, they are now able to also show the stories under it. And uh, this looks really good because uh, uh, not only I can see the stories under the epics, but I can also see the overall progress of the epic based on the progress of my of my stories under it. The good thing about this particular board is that uh, you can also make a change. Let us say if I want to move this particular uh, selected story from uh, Epic UI to iOS Epic 2 uh, uh, to Epic. So you can just drag it and then you can drag it to a different Epic and the same will be updated in your Jira project. So this is how you will uh, create a top down uh, automation structure board and uh, uh, this looks good but the last thing that i will probably do is uh, i will also include my subtask under the stories so i'll again select my top down automation uh, uh, option on top and then i'll uh, again click on the plus sign then i'll click on the extend and then i'll select my subtask and then uh, you will be presented with the option to select what exactly you want to include maybe you have three different type of subtask or maybe you just have uh, two different type of subtask in your uh, jira instance so depending upon whether you want to include all the subtask or you just want to include maybe one or two type of subtask you can again select this option and also include or check this option called allow changes via structure board so that you can actually change your uh, your project if you want from your uh, structure board itself. For example, if you want to move a subtask from one issue to another issue, uh, you should be able to do it from your structure. So let us now click on the apply button and uh, let us now take a look at the at the structure board that we have. So we do have uh, this particular epic UI with uh, two issues. One is I believe uh, a normal uh, it is a subtask, so I believe there is a subtask within my epic, but the option to view the subtask is also there when you are looking at the story. So this is really useful because when you are working on agile based projects, you want to see the whole hierarchy across different uh, projects in just one view. And the good thing about this particular structure board is that, as I mentioned earlier, we will be able to move the issues from uh, one uh, one epic or one story to another story. So I am not trying to move my uh, subtask from one story to another story by simply dragging it uh, uh, to uh, to a different uh, to a different issue type. So it says right now it is not complaining that I can only move it uh, within my project. It makes sense because I believe the configurations uh, or the schemes should allow the movement of subtask. Let me now do it uh, maybe 
uh, to a different story within my same project and uh, i think now i am able to move my subtask so you are able to move your subtask within the same project or you're also able to move the stories from one epic to another epic so this is how your uh, your board your top down automation board will work and the good thing uh, about this particular board is that uh, you will be able to work on your jira issues uh, as usual and the board and the board will be updated or refreshed automatically for you